My name is Naomi Korn, I'm an IP consultant and I specialise in copyright, rights management and licensing. I work across the UK's public sector with museums, libraries, archives, universities, colleges and funding bodies and my aim is to help professionals think differently about copyright. I'm going to be running through five top tips relating to copyright and rights management. Top tip number one, identify all the layers of rights in your content. Carry out an audit, understand what's in copyright, what's not in copyright. The works that are in copyright, ensure that you put them in the different categories of works that copyright protects. You'll find that there'll be multiple layers of rights, probably in your content. There may be different durations of copyright, there may be different rights holders. It's essential you know what's in copyright and what's out of copyright. Make sure you recognise that rights and permissions need to be dealt with in your project as early as possible. In fact, it's ideal if you can think about these issues before your project begins so that you can put aside the necessary resources, time and money to clear any rights. It may even be that you have to think differently and choose other types of works that you want to include in your project if the copyright issues prove too problematic. Giving yourselves time to deal with it early means you can make the necessary decisions so that it doesn't disrupt your project. Decide how you want your users to use your content before you seek permission from any third parties. This is really important because if you want the users of your content to be able to use your content freely and openly, if there are any third party rights in the content that you want them to use, you have to make sure that you ask for at least the same permissions that you're granting to your users, not less. If you don't get enough permissions for your users to use the works in the way that they want to before you seek permission from any third party rights holders, this means that potentially you're carrying out an infringement of copyright. So do think about your end use license first. Yeah. Rights management now means risk management. There's a whole body of works which are in copyright but where the rights holders are either unknown or cannot be traced. And these are called orphan works. It means that risk management must form part of your rights management clearance strategy. You need to put in place an understanding of the levels of risk that your organisation is comfortable with and then to put in measures that mitigate any possible risks that might arise. You can find free, free to use resources on the JISC OER IPR support project, the SCA e-learning module and the Web2 Rights project. These resources are out there for you to use to help you do copyright better. They include templates for rights clearance, briefing papers, e-learning modules and flowcharts. They can be reused and customised by your organisation.